Okay, ink day. Ink can be used with pens, so kind of like looking like old style calligraphy pens, quill pens. It can be used with brush, and you can experiment with whatever else you want to. This is a special brush for ink called bamboo brush. So, I have a variety of tips for the pens. You just have to experiment with them and see what they do. So these silver and brass looking ones are for the bigger pen. And then these little round ones on the end down here are for my little pen. You can see how much smaller it is and the roundness up here compared to there. And to change them out, you just pull them out pop the next one in. Try to make sure you get it clean before you put it back and make sure it goes in the right spot. You have to figure out which one it is. They're numbered and look at their shape. This one definitely didn't get clean last time. Somebody used it. I do have pen cleaner to get them clean too. Then you need water and a paper towel. You need a palette for ink. Please make sure you grab one of the ones that says for ink and not for watercolor. My watercolor ones are not all stained up. So you should be able to tell a difference. If you're not sure, ask. I have black ink, but I also have colored ink in these bottles. You can use whatever color you want. And there is also white. I'm going to use some violet. So I'm going to shake the bottle up. It has a little syringe in the top here. So I just use the syringe to squirt some into my palette. And then I close it back up. Now, we should be able to share one set of colored inks for everybody. Because you don't need a whole lot at one time. And you won't be able to save your ink, so you're only going to have a one-shot deal for this. So then you take and dip your pen. you got to get enough ink in it to get it to go up into the brass part. Dip your pen into your ink, and then just start making marks with it. If it feels like it's going to run out, then reload it. And you can clean out your pen tip if you're done with that one. Dry it off carefully, not to break it, but not, they don't break all that easily, but not to cut yourself either because there are some somewhat sharp edges on there. Grab hold of it and pull it apart. Switch to another tip and see what it does. Again, I dip it in my ink. You can mix inks too. You don't have to go straight color. It's just like painting, so you can mix your colors. So just experiment with the different pen tips, see what you end up doing. This one can go thin and thick. I'm going to take my brush and get a little wet. See if I can kind of smear those around a little bit. I'm doing this on watercolor paper. And if I get this before it dries too much, I can probably get it to smear. If it's already dry, it might not. I can dip my brush straight in and draw with the tip. Not really meant to color solid areas as much as doing line work. You can get different values if you 
rinse out your brush and then just kind of work it down a little wherever you want it to just kind of blur. If you get your paper wet to start with, and mine has, look, my water already has a little violet color to it, so I'm going to have a little bit of violet already. But I'm going to pick up my, my violet with the brush and see what it does. Kind of similar to watercolor, it'll smear, bleed out. And then I have my little tip. Get some ink on my little tip. Draw on the wet part and draw on the dry part and see the differences. Kind of experiment and see what you come up with. 